not marching now in fields of Thrasme, where Mars did meet the Carthaginians. Now sporting in the dalliance of love, in courts of kings where state is overturned. Nor in the pomp of proud audacious deeds, indent our muse to ward his heavenly verse. Only this gentleman we must perform, the form of Faustus's fortunes, good or bad. Now is he born, his parents' base of stock, in Germany of riper years, to Wittenberg he went. So soon he profits in divinity, and glutted now with learning's golden gifts. He suffices upon curse necromancy, nothing so sweet as magic is to him which he prefers before his chiefest bliss and this the man that in his study sits. Faustus, make a definite choice of your studies. To argue well is the end of logic. But I've already achieved that aim. Let me welcome the study of medicine. Where the philosopher leaves off, there the physician begins. Be a physician, Faustus. But Faustus, have you not already achieved that aim? Yes. When all things are considered, the study of theology is the best. The Bible says, the reward of sin is death. Ha! That is hard. I must bid farewell to the Bible. The treatise on black magic and the books dealing with the art of calling up spirits of the dead. All the universe shall be at my command. Emperors and kings do not have the power to make a storm blow or to disperse the clouds. A competent magician is as powerful as God. Here, Faustus, exert and exhaust your brain to gain superhuman power. Wagner, take my compliments to my dearest friends, the German Valdes and Cornelius. Make an earnest request to them to visit me. I will, sir. How I am filled with the idea of obtaining such unlimited power. Shall I become powerful enough to make spirits bring me what I like? Shall my mind become free from all doubts? Come, my German friends, Valdis and Cornelius, and make me happy and successful with your wise conversation. Valdis, Cornelius, you should know that your words have influenced me at last to decide to practice magic and the black arts. Faustus, these books of magic, your intellect and our experience, all these combined together, will combine nations to elevate us to sainthood. The spirits of all the elements be always ready to serve the three of us. All this is possible if you are resolute. Valdis, I am as firm in my resolve in this matter as you are in your desire to live. The miracles that we can perform by the exercise of magic will compel you to take a vow to study nothing else. Therefore, have no doubts, Faustus, that you will become famous and that more people will visit you because of your magical skills. Oh, this hope gladdens my heart. Come, my dear friends, give me some magical demonstrations. Then hurry up and go to some grove where you will be alone. 
carry with you the works of the learned magicians. Then come and dine with me. This night I must call up the spirits even though I die in the process. This is the time, Faustus, to begin your recitation of spells and try if the evil spirits will carry out your commands. Within this circle is the name of Jehovah, so rearranged as to form different other names. Within this circle are also the abridged names of holy saints, sketches of every star in the sky, symbols of the twelve signs of the zodiac and the planets by means of which the spirits can be compelled to appear. May the gods of the infernal regions be favorable to me. Away with the threefold spirit of God. Welcome spirits of fire, air, water and earth. Lucifer, Prince of the East, Belzebub, Monarch of the Burning Hell, and Demagogon, we ask your favor that Mephistopheles may appear and rise. Mephistopheles! ugly creature. I call upon you to go back and come in a different guise. In your present shape, you are too ugly to attend on me. Go and come back in the shape of an old Franciscan friar. <laughs> that holy appearance suits a devil the best. Look how Mephistopheles is yielding, humble, and ready to serve me. Such is the power of magic and my spells. Now, Faustus, you are a magician worthy of special distinction. You can command the great Mephistopheles. Now, Faustus, what do you wish me to do? I call upon you, my dear Mephistopheles, to attend on me as long as I live, to carry out every order that I give you, whether it be to make the moon fall down from the sky or to make the ocean flood the whole earth. I am a servant to the great Lucifer and may not be able to obey you without his permission. Devils like me cannot go beyond the command that he gives. Did he not command you to appear before me? No, I came here of my own will. Did my incantations bring you here? Speak, Mephistopheles. That was the cause, but yet it was incidental. For when we hear anyone distort the name of God or renounce the holy books and the Saviour Christ, we rush towards him in the hope of winning his splendid soul. Therefore, the quickest method of summoning the devilish spirits is firmly to renounce the Trinity and offer sincere prayers to the Prince of Hell. 
I have already done that. The word damnation does not frighten me because I shall make no distinction between hell and heaven. But leaving aside this meaningless petty talk about the souls of men, tell me something about the nature and attributes of your master, Lucifer. Lucifer is the chief ruler and commander of all spirits. Was not this Lucifer an angel once? And God loved him most dearly at that time? How did it happen? How did he become the prince of devils? Ah, it was because of his proud ambition and insolence that God threw him out of the heavens. And who are you that live with Lucifer? We are the unhappy spirits who were thrown out of heaven along with Lucifer as a punishment for joining him. Where do you live, being damned? In hell. hell. How is it then that you are at this time out of hell? Why, this is surely hell, nor am I out of it. Do you think that I, who saw the face of God and enjoyed the everlasting pleasures of heaven, do not feel tormented with the suffering of ten thousand hells? What? Is the great Mephistopheles emotionally so stirred on thinking of the joys of heaven which he has lost? Go and carry this news to great Lucifer. Tell him that Faustus has taken the risk of everlasting damnation by entertaining dangerous thoughts against God. Tell him that I surrender my soul to him on condition that he will spare me for a period of 24 years and let me live a life of passionate pleasures with you to attend on me always and to give me whatever I shall ask, to tell me whatever I want to know, to kill my enemies, to help my friends and always be obedient to my wishes. Go back to the great Lucifer and meet me in my study at midnight. I will do so, Faustus. Even if I had as many souls as there are stars in the sky, I would give them all to Lucifer in order to command the services of Mephistopheles. Faustus, is it sure you will be damned and cannot be saved? Then, what is the use of thinking about God and heaven? Despair in God and trust in Beelzebub. Now, go not backward, Faustus. Be resolute. Reject this magic and turn to God again. Suppose Faustus turns to God again, there is no guarantee that he will love me. forward Faustus in that famous hour. Sweet Faustus, leave that execrable art. Regret, prayer, repentance, what of these? Oh, they are means to bring thee unto heaven. Rather illusions, fruits of lunacy that make men foolish. Sweet Faustus, think of heaven and heavenly things. No Faustus, think of honor and of wealth. Honor, wealth. When Mephistopheles shall stand by me, what power can hurt me? Faustus, thou art safe. Cast no more doubts. Mephistopheles, come and bring glad tidings from great Lucifer. Is it not midnight? Come, Mephistopheles, come. Mephistopheles! Now, tell me, what has Lucifer, your lord, told to you? That I shall serve Faustus 
so long as he lives and get his soul as payment for his service Faustus has already offered his soul to you but you must pledge it in a solemn manner by writing a deed with your own blood Lucifer demands that security from you if you reject it i'll go back to hell Mephistopheles wait a little and tell me what use my soul has to your lord to increase the number of his supporters can you who torture others feel any pain yourselves we suffer as much misery as the human souls suffer but assure me faustus whether you will give me your soul i shall work like a slave to you and give you more pleasures that you ever imagined truly mephistopheles i have given my soul to you then faustus stab your arm and write a bond with your blood if you do so you can become as powerful as mighty lucifer see mephistopheles i have stabbed my arm with my own blood i shall now pledge my soul to great lucifer look mephistopheles the drops of blood falling but faustus you must write the bond in the same way as a deed of gift yes i will do so but mephistopheles see my blood has coagulated and i am unable to write with it what is happening to me mephistopheles i will bring fire so that you may dissolve it what would the congealing of my blood foretell is my blood unwilling that i should write this bond is not my soul my own let me write again that i give my soul to lucifer see faustus here is fire set it on so now the blood begins to melt now let me finish it quickly hmm i will go to any extent to obtain the soul of faustus it is finished this document has been completed listen to me while i read them out to you the following are the conditions first that i shall get the power to change myself into a spirit in form and appearance second that mephistopheles shall be my servant third that mephistopheles shall do whatever i ask him to do and bring me whatever i desire fourth that mephistopheles shall remain invisible to others last that mephistopheles shall appear to me at all times in whatever form or shape i desire i john faustus of wittenberg doctor do by this present document give both body and soul to lucifer prince of the morning and to his agent mephistopheles furthermore at the end of 24 years from now subject to the above conditions being fully observed lucifer and mephistopheles will have the complete power to take or carry my body soul flesh blood or goods to their territory wherever it may be faustus do you deliver this document as your deed of gift yes i take it and may the devil give you some reward for having obtained this document for me now faustus ask me whatever you please 
first i shall ask you some questions about hell tell me mephistopheles where is the place that human beings call hell hell has no boundaries nor is it confined to any one particular region hell is wherever we are and where hell is there we must always be and finally let me tell you that when the whole world melts away and every living being undergoes the process of purification all places will be hell that is not heaven well in my opinion hell does not really exist yes you may continue to have that opinion till you actually experience the torture of hell and then change your opinion do you then think that i shall be damned yes you will necessarily be damned because here is the document by which you have pledged your soul to lucifer yes not only my soul but body also but what does that matter do you think that i'm so foolish as to imagine that there is any torture waiting for a man after his death don't talk like that such beliefs are merely fictitious stories but faustus i am a case to prove that you are wrong because i am damned and i am at this very moment in hell how can that be how can you be in hell at this moment no mephistopheles if this is hell i have no objection to be damned let us not discuss this matter any further when i look at the sky above i begin to experience a feeling of repentance then i curse you wicked mephistopheles because you have made it impossible for me to enjoy the bliss of heaven why do you think faustus that heaven is such a splendid place i tell you that heaven is not half so beautiful as you or any other man who lives on earth how can you prove that as heaven was created for man it follows that man is more splendid than heaven if heaven was created for man it was created for me also i will give up this magic and repent of my guilt oh faustus repent of your sin god will even now have pity on you god cannot have pity on you for already you are a spirit who whispers into my ears that i am a devil even if i be a devil god may have pity on me if i repent of my sin yes but faustus shall never repent of his sin i am satisfied tell me who is the maker of this world i will not tell you that dear mephistopheles do tell me please do not insist on an answer that i will not tell you villain why will you not answer me when you are pledged to give me every kind of information i desire i have told you things that do not go against the kingdom of hell this is against our kingdom faustus you should think only of hell because your soul is damned faustus think of god who made this world Faustus you must remember what i have just told you ah you damned spirit go to hell it is you who have damned my soul is it not too late for me to retrace my steps yes faustus it is too late it is not too late faustus You can repent of your association with the devil and seek God's forgiveness. 
If you repent, Faustus, devils will tear you into pieces. Repent, Faustus, and the devils will not dare touch your body. Christ cannot save your soul because Christ is fair-minded and will not interfere in this matter. I have legal claim to your soul and Christ cannot deny that. Oh, who are you that looks so frightening? <laughs> I am Lucifer and this is Belzebub who is my companion and who rules hell with me. Oh, Faustus, they have come to take away your soul to hell. Faustus, you have betrayed us. You mentioned Christ and this was contrary to the promise you made to Mephistopheles. You should not think of God or Christ. From now on, I promise to do so. I beg your forgiveness and I swear that I shall never look to heaven, never mention gold, never pray to him. I also promise to burn the holy books, to kill God's priests and command the spirits at my disposal to destroy the churches where God is worshipped. Do all this and we shall provide you the means of various pleasures. First, we have come from hell to show you something entertaining. Sit down and you will see all the seven deadly sins appear in their real shapes. That sight will be a source of much pleasure to me as the Garden of Eden was to Adam. Do not speak of the Garden of Eden and do not mention the creation of Adam. But observe this show. Talk of the devil and of nothing else. Come away and see. Sail away on a ball and change and keep us from the roaring waves. Get her on the boat and both forever will be free. So sail away up on a rig, the moon is falling so are we. Seven drunken pirates where the seven deadly sins. Yeah. Now, Faustus, question them of the names and their dispositions. What are thou the first? I am pride. I disdain to have any parents. 
I'm like Ovid's flea. I can creep into every corner. What are thou, the second? I am covetousness, begotten of an old show, and might I have any wish, I might lock you safe into my chest, or my sweet gold. And what are thou, the third? I am wrath. I had neither father nor mother. I leapt out of a lion's mouth when I was half an hour old. I was born in hell and looked to it for some more few shall be my father. Who art thou the fourth? I am envy, begotten of a chimney sweeper and an oyster wife. I cannot read and therefore wish all books burnt. I am lean with seeing others eat. Oh, that there would come a famine over all the world, that all might die and I live alone. Away, envious rascal! What are thou, the fifth? Who, I, sir? I am gluttony. My parents are all dead, and the devil, a penny they have left me, but a small pension, and that buys me thirty meals a day. Will thou bid me to supper? No, I'll see thee hanged. Thou will eat up all my food. Then the devil chalk thee. Chalk thyself, glutton. What art thou, the sixth? I am slow. I was begotten on a sunny bank, where I have lain ever since, and you have done me great injury. to bring me from thence and what are you mistress the seventh and the last of sins who i sir the first letter of my name begins with l go to hell now fosters tell me how you like this show oh This show was a feast for my soul. How no regret fosters. All kinds of entertainments are available in hell. I wish I could go and see hell and come back again. I would feel very happy if I could do so. You will surely see the hell and come back. I shall send for you at midnight. Meanwhile, take this book and read it thoroughly. By studying this book, you shall acquire the power to change yourself into any shape you please. Many thanks, great Lucifer. I shall preserve this book as carefully as my very life. Farewell, Faustus, and meditate on the devil. Farewell, mighty Lucifer. I think my master Dr Faustus expects to die very soon. He has given all his belongings to me. Even at this moment he is in the company of his students. Master Dr Faustus, we have been talking about beautiful ladies and we have been discussing who was the most beautiful woman in the whole world. And we have decided that Helen of Greece was the most beautiful lady who have ever lived therefore master doctor we shall be greatly indebted to you if you do us a favor by bringing before us that lady from greece gentlemen i know that your friendship for me is genuine and it is not my habit to reject any legitimate request by those who are my well wishers I shall show you that matchless lady from Greece and she will appear before you looking as splendid and majestic therefore be silent We 
वी हैव सीन द लेडी हु इज इनकम्पेरेबली ब्यूटिफुल लेट अस डिपार्ट फ्रॉम हियर एंड मे फोस्टस बी ऑलवेज हैप्पी एंड मे ही रिसीव फॉर्च्यून्स फेवर जेंटलमैन आई बिड यू फेयरवेल एंड विश यू आल्सो टू बी ऑलवेज हैप्पी Oh gentle Faustus leave this damned art this magic that will charm thy soul to hell i wish i could direct you into your righteous course of life let your heart break Faustus let your blood flow and mingle with your tears if sin by custom grow not into nature then Faustus will repentance come too late Faustus but mercy of Jesus Christ who sacrifice alone can purify you Faustus get ready to die hell claims your soul and with a thundering voice calls out to you Faustus come your hour of death and the damnation has almost come i must now get ready to obey the call of hell Oh stay good fosters stay thy desperate steps i see an angel over thy head this angel has brought a container of precious heavenly grace prepared to pour into your soul ah my sweet friend your words are a great comfort to my troubled soul leave me alone for some time so that I may meditate on my sins. There is a curse on you, Faustus. I do repent of my sins. My heart seeks the grace of heaven, but Lucifer tries to prevent my receiving that grace. What should I do to avoid the trap of death? You're proving a traitor to the devil, Faustus. I therefore arrest your soul for being disobedient to my master Lucifer. You must defy God or I will tear your flesh bit by bit. Sweet Mephistopheles, request your master Lucifer to forgive me for my insolence which is totally unjustified. Sweet friend, go and punish that low and crooked old man. who dare to instigate me against Lucifer punish him with the most painful tortures that our hell is capable of that old man has an unshakable faith in god it is not in my power to trouble his soul however i shall try to subject his body to as much pain as i am capable of one thing good servant i request you to provide me I want you to satisfy the desire with which my heart is aching. I would like to have as my mistress that Helen whom I saw some time ago and who has heavenly beauty. Faustus, this or anything else that you desire will be done in no time. Was this the face that launched a thousand ships and burnt the topless towers of Helium? Sweet Helen, make me immortal with a kiss. Her lips suck forth my soul. See where it flies. Come Helen come give my soul again here will i dwell for heaven is in these lips where there is no helen 
that everything is trash and worthless. miserable you have denied the grace of god <laughs> listen the proud lucifer begins to tempt me to deny god god shall test my faith in fire you hateful lucifer my faith in god will be victorious What's troubling you, Faustus? Alas, my excellent former roommate. If I had been still with you, I would have continued to live for some time more. But now I am about to die. If that is some illness, we shall call physicians to regain your health. This illness is caused by the damnation of both my body and soul. Even then, Faustus. beg god's grace but fastus offense can never be pardoned the serpent that tempted eve may be saved but not fastus i've performed wonderful deeds which not only all germany but the whole world has witnessed but because of the same deeds i've not only lost germany but the whole world Not only that, I've lost heaven's happiness. My soul must now remain in hell forever. Please, Faustus, beg the mercy of God. Oh my God, I would weep, but the devil does not let me weep. Let my blood flow out of my body, if tears cannot flow from my eyes. Oh. The devil does not even allow me to speak. I would like to raise my hands. But see, the devils have caught hold of my hands and would not allow me to raise them. Who, Who is, is holding, holding your, your hands, hands Faustus? Lucifer and Mephistopheles are holding my hands. May God forbid such a thing. I also wish that god could forbid it but now there is no hope because the deed has already been done the period of 24 years has come to an end and the hour is approaching when mephistopheles will come to take away my soul to hell pray to god and we will pray that god may show mercy upon you gentlemen You may leave me because there is a danger of your being damned with me. Fair well, Faustus. Faustus Now you have just one more hour to live and then you must be damned perpetually Stand still you ever moving spheres of heaven that time may cease and midnight never come Fair nature's eye rise rise again 
and make a perpetual day or let us are we a year a month a week a natural day that fastest may repent and save his soul the stars move still time runs the clock will strike the devil will come and fastest must be damned oh i live up to my god who pulls me down see see the blood of christ is flowing there in the sky just one drop of that blood can save my soul no only half a drop will be enough ah oh, my christ come save me oh spare me lucifer mountains and hills come come fall on me and hide me from the heavy wrath of heaven it is now half past 11 only half an hour more remains and it will soon pass let fastus live in a hell a thousand years a hundred thousand but at last be saved no end is limited to damned souls but mine must live still to be plagued in hell cursed be the parents that begot me no fastus curse dyson curse lucifer that has denied the joys of heaven strikes it strikes now body turn into air or lucifer will bear thee quick to hell oh so be changed in the small water drops and fall into the ocean never be found My God, my God, look not so fierce on me, adders and serpents. Let me breathe a while. Ugly hell, gape no. <laughs> Ha 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 